Take a look at this 40 pages of research and guidelines outlining how university campuses can deal with incidents of sexual assault. But this document isn't from the government. It comes from a group of university students. These are their recommendations for a framework. After the province mandated that colleges and universities had to pr provide a standalone sexual violence policy by the beginning of 2017. But the group behind this report says that the province dropped the ball when it came to outlining the details of what those policies should look like. They said universities have to pass that or create sexual violence policies by January 1st, 2017, but they did not, they did not include any punishments. And if, if the university doesn't do that, they didn't include any definition as to what a standalone sexual violence policy is. The whole point of this is to show not just to criticize institutions or go through their policies, but also just highlight there really is no research and no guidelines in Canada. So when universities were asked to create these violence policies, for example, in Ontario in particular, and now other provinces are starting to require it, they don't know where to turn. And this is trying to fill that gap. And this immense project that has been six months in the making of unpaid female labor, why is it students who don't have the resources having to do this comprehensive review? Why isn't the province taking the lead? Now, the group behind Our Turn, a national action plan to end campus sexual violence, graded the policies of 14 schools in Canada. They offer a checklist on what those policies should include, including outlining clear timelines for a response by the university, removing time limit limits on reporting after the incident, allowing anonymous reporting, and ensuring protections from face-to-face -face encounters between complainants and those involved. Now, 20 student unions have signed on to law lobby their universities to implement these measures and the government says they're aware of this student-led framework and currently all post-secondary institutions are in compliance with their policies. They did send us this statement reading the board of governors of each institution is ultimately responsible for how the institution deals with reports of sexual violence and for implementing their policies effectively. It goes on to say however through ongoing reporting by institutions to governments the ministry is tracking how institutions are implementing the requirements set out in the legislation and regulation goes on to say we also expect that institutions will be actively looking and consulting to make sure their policies reflect the best, both the best practices of the sector and the needs of student population. Now, the ministry also told us that if a student feels that their school has not adequately adequately dealt with a complaint of sexual assault or sexual harassment, that there is an escal escalation measure that they can uh, follow in order to deal with that.